to understand it a little better, we would like to draw a Venn diagram. Here is the Venn diagram. Uh, this rectangle represents the sample space. And then, then there are two events. We can show them like this. We are talking about E and F. Let's say this first one is E and the second one is F. Intersection B and uh, we can, we have other region there. We can show it by different color. Like say this one, right? This, this region, which is uh, means element which are in E, but not in F, right? And similarly, we can show one more region here. So that, that region over there. Right. So this will represent three disjoint set. Let us write them one by one. This one here, this region is all the element that are in F, but not in E. How do we write it? We write it E complement intersection F. Okay. E, but not F means E intersection f complement that we are writing because we have to deal with this no these things and uh, we want to also show e complement intersection f complement okay so this region over the pink one let's uh, show that one also obviously that is e intersection f this is e intersection f okay now to answer a part first of all let's write the information we can get from this ENF are independent events. So you can say probability of E intersection F is will be equal to PE into PF, PE multiplied PF. E intersection F complement and E intersection F together forms the event E. So we can say and they are disjoint event also. So we can say P of E intersection F complement. That is the green part there, plus probability of E intersection F, that is the pink event together should be same as the probability of E. Now, P E intersection F can be replaced by P E into P F. So this implies probability of E intersection F complement is going to be, let's first write it E intersection F as PE into PF. Yes, and is equal to probability of E. We would like to write, uh, we would like to write, take this E intersection F, this, to the right means this will imply probability of E intersection F complement is going to be PE on the right will remain as it is and this we are transposing to right so its sign should change PE into PF all right now we can easily take PE common and then inside we have one minus PF Obviously, one minus PF is PEF naught. So this is PE into PF naught. Look what we have got. We have got probability of E intersection F is same as probability of E into probability of F. So that means we just proved that E and F complement are E and F complement are independent. Okay, in B part, you are interested in E complement intersection F. So you would like to write it like this, P E complement intersection F. Look in the diagram, that is the blue region and plus probability of E intersection F, that is the pink one together is going to give you P F, all right? And E intersection F, since they are independent, uh, we know this will be equal to P E into P F. So that means this is equal to P, this implies E complement intersection F is plus P E 
multiplied pf is equal to pf now we should take this uh, to right because we are interested to find whether p of e complement intersection f is equal to pe complement into pf or not so we want to take this right is equal to pf on the right no change and this term is going to write so pe times pf now we can take pf common and from there you have one minus pe okay and one minus pe is obviously pe complement that is the formula no? pf into one minus pe is pe of complement this is the formula this thing can be written as pe complement now look what you have just proved you have proved that probability of p intersection f is same as pf into pe complement means see this is this product of the two numbers can also be written as p complement into pf right so that means that means the second part is proved so you can say here therefore e complement and f e complement and f are independent independent so that's a that's the second part is also proved now let's start with the third one E intersection, E complement, intersection, F complement. According to De Morgan, it should be equal to E union, F and complement. Complement of this. Since we are talking about probabilities, so that's like probability of this should be same as probability of this. Now, probability of the complement of any event is now this term is going to be one minus probability of that event e union e union f now p e union f or p a union b is a formula we can use that so this is going to be one minus p first okay, let's use the bracket here p a union b is p a plus pb in place of b you have f okay minus probability of e intersection f you can understand this formula that we are using e union f uh, if you see the Venn diagram e union f means pe which includes both green and pink plus pf which includes blue and pink because the pink has ad been added two times, so we subtract this pink region one time. That's what E union F is, right? The group, the total of E and F. Now this is one, can we open the bracket? One minus PE, okay. And then this will become minus PF, minus PE intersection F is, you see, this is minus, this is minus, so it's going to be plus. This is PE into PF. That was the initial information given. E and F are independent. So their E intersection F is always going to be PE into PF. Now we want to show it PE complement intersection into PF complement. So for that, we are, are going to change one minus PE as PE complement. Okay, minus from there, we can take PF common this and this right so when you take negative of pf common you will get positive one here and the sign will change pe okay now one minus pe is pe complement so this pe complement the first one as it is okay minus here we want to take we want to write it pf into pe complement even play space here. So that can be shown as uh, PE complement common, PE complement common. And from there, we can say one minus PF, okay? One minus PF is PF complement. So we just proved that it is same as P of E complement 
into P of F complement. 